Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with our brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Take it to go out today, see the things that came out today, see the things are on sale. Now today though, some of the big releases that come out, uh, the one is the uh, interactive Batman film called Batman Death in the Family. Uh, that one releases as well as the uh, new Ruby Rose film, uh, The Doorman. Uh, there's also like this one horror movie that I believe is coming out today that I think should be at Walmart. Uh, also though, on 4K for the very first time, Wrecking for a Dream, that releases as well. But also though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. Some really, really cool stuff. And as always, too, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video what you guys thought of them, if you guys have seen them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And I also want to let you guys know, too, I just joined the cast of a new uh, anthology film called Seasons. And I want to let you guys know that the uh, Indiegogo just launched today for that one. You guys can check out the link below. And there's, like, perks on there for, like, pre-ordering a DVD of the movie, a Blu-ray copy, uh, thanks credits, and all kinds of stuff like that. But this should be a cool uh, anthology film. You guys can check out the link below to find more about the film. Like I said, this one is called Seasons. And check out the link below to find out more about that one. And thanks again, guys, for all the support and everything. I really appreciate it. But now, I'm going to head into Target and hopefully they got some new stuff out. We'll see though. Yeah, well in there though, there was absolutely nothing new at all. Like I looked in the front of the store, it was all the same stuff from the past couple weeks. And in the front of the store was actually the same things from the past couple months. Some like much older stuff. There's like one or two newer things in there, but mostly everything was older. And then in the actual section, it was all the same stuff from last Tuesday. And I feel like they would have had though, uh, the doorman in here and same with the new um, Batman Death in the Family. I feel like they would have had them. I might end up looking at another a Target later. Uh, we, we'll see though. Um, I probably will. And now I'm going to head over to Walmart, but I don't have a good feeling about this Walmart having anything new at all because I was actually in there yesterday and you know last Tuesday I was at this Walmart and they didn't put out any of the new releases at all and this is yesterday you know on Monday I was in there and it was still totally empty in the section they didn't put out any of the new releases from last week still so hopefully maybe they went in like totally you know redid the whole section and put the new things in we'll see but I have a feeling it's probably gonna go in there and it'll be totally empty nothing at all we'll see though but fingers crossed hopefully they've updated in there but we'll see into Walmart we go. Yeah, but like I was saying though, you know, definitely fingers crossed, hopefully they have changed out the section here because it was really weird. Like I said, I was in here yesterday and like the entire section looked exactly like it did last Tuesday. Like not one thing at all was out, none of the new releases. And, the, and then they had like all the spots where all the newer things that would have been in the actual section part, you know, in the case it's locked. They didn't have, it was all the empty spots still, so they didn't put any of those movies out. So. Unless they did these, this all like late last night, I have a feeling it's gonna probably be the same situation, but I don't know, we'll see though, fingers crossed. Well, over here, it's still very, very empty, but I am seeing some new stuff that they didn't put out last week that wasn't even out yesterday. Like uh, this this came out last Tuesday, Tales in the Hood 3. It's only $9.96 for this one. This is actually really, really good. Like, I, like the first Tales in the Hood movie is probably one of my top favorite anthology films. And like the second one I thought was okay. Like some of the stories were all right on it. But this one though, this one was much more in the style of the first film. It definitely would be worth checking out if you guys have not seen that one. And some of the other ones that were from last week, like the second, here and the secret garden uh, you know Picard here this the blu-ray and the DVD for that one this is one of the new ones here today though this one here you know um, broil which I, I like this one this was actually a really pretty cool horror movie kind of had like some slightly like Dario Argento kind of vibes mixed with some hammer horror kind of feels to it as well but I thought this was actually pretty good but as you can see though there's a lot of empty spots here like let's see what are these ones like seized grant um, you know, that red versus blue. Is that what that is? A red? Uh, no, it's R-W-B-Y. Um, there's some other ones here, like Cats and Dogs 3, like the Doorman. Like the Blu-ray is uh, $14.96. The, the DVD is $12.96. Still, I'm still going to probably go to another uh, Walmart, though, to check since they don't have all this stuff out. But let's see if there's anything else different here. I don't see anything else different here. But let's see what they did in the section. Because like I said, this was all totally... Yep, see, look. See all that? all this empty space so they're not like filling this stuff in but look at how empty this is like all these empty spots in here where the 4ks are and on right here i don't see any of the other new things today unless it's like mixed in i gotta really look but see like it's crazy all these ones here came out last tuesday 
and they haven't put any of them out at all. So it's always such a pain when that happens in here. I did see one thing in here was was a really I saw this yesterday though which was actually a really good price like the complete series of the Dead Zone for only 19.99 or 19.96 so that's actually a really good price for the whole series of that one. I don't know how like long that series went, how many seasons of it there was. This is also a newer set here that has like a, a sci-fi movie collection here for 17.99. These are like Blu-rays. It has like the Island, the Relic, uh, Project Almanac, uh, you know, Event Horizon. So that's a pretty cool set there as well for 17.96. That's the DVD version versions though. I don't believe there's a Blu-ray version of that set, but other than that though, you see it's like really like empty. There's all these empty spots over here, so it's like a tons of empty. So definitely gonna have to head to another Walmart. But yeah, isn't it crazy that like after like a whole week now, none of these were changed at all? It's like, man, what a pain. I don't, I don't know. But we'll head to another one though, but yeah, today's gonna be another day of Walmarts. And it is always very interesting though with Walmarts, because it's kind of like, after, you know, every so often like you feel like you found the one that was like, they're doing a really good job getting everything out. Like this one for a while was doing a really good job and stuff was always out, uh, and that, but now all of a sudden it's not. So I'm gonna probably head to the Walmart that doesn't lock this stuff up, the other one, because the one that locks it up as well that I would come to first, usually has not been having this stuff out lately at all. So it's the same situation. So hopefully uh, that one though has it. We'll see though. This one's been good, but I'm probably gonna end up jinxing it. You know what I mean? Anytime I say, oh yeah, the other one's doing great now, I jinx it. And then it'll be like, they won't have anything or anything like that. But we'll see though. Into the second Walmart we go. Yeah, I can tell right away though, this one here is fully stocked up. This one though, I, this stuff is like locked up in this one. So if there's anything in here I want to get, I have to like have them get it out of here. But they do have the doorman in here. I, uh, and the Blu-ray of that one is a $14.96. The DVD is $12.96. And I'm gonna talk about this one at the end of this video, but I really, really like this one a lot. This one I actually thought was a really, really cool movie. Uh, and like, um, the director of it did a movie called The Night Train Murders, so I really liked it. And he's done a bunch of other things that were really cool, but I thought this one was actually really, really cool. Uh, the other one today was Boreal. That was the only one that they had out in the other store, new release-wise. This is one that I might get here, this one called, the, this is the horror one I was talking about, The Unfamiliar, and that one is uh, $12.96 for that one. I might end up getting that one. Hopefully, though, they're able to find the keys and everything to get it out if it's not like a big thing to find it. Also though, uh, Seized, the, that one released today. I'm mean, gonna talk about that one at the end of this video as well. And that's $12.96 for the DVD. And there's a new John Leguizamo movie here called Critical Thinking. I don't know anything about this one. If you guys have seen this one though, uh, let me know how that one was. And that one is uh, $12.96 as well. But over here though, in the case, this stuff here is all the same stuff in the past couple weeks. I don't see anything new here. Let's check over here though, on the side though, and see if there's anything else in here. This is where they have all the 4Ks. Doesn't seem like anything else new here 4K wise, as far as I can tell. That switch is still down there on the bottom in that real random spot. And over here though, in the actual section though, all I see is the same stuff that came out in the past couple weeks. And like all this stuff right here, this is all the stuff that came out last Tuesday. Uh, like basically all this row up here, from here, not the uh, get on up, but then all these ones up until here all last Tuesday. So these were the ones I was showing in the other, the other Walmart that I was just at, that they didn't put any of these new ones out at all. So like they were all totally, just I guess still sitting in the back in a box or something. Thing. I don't know what was going on, but at least they had the other ones in the front though And like I said, I think I'm gonna end up getting the one in here this um, Unfamiliar movie. Hopefully they can find it. You know the key It's not like a big thing to get them to open it up because I remember in the one store they had it locked up It was like this big to-do and they had like a ring of like like a dozen keys and They kept trying every single one like I don't know which one it was <laughs> This big to-do thing but yeah, I'm probably gonna now though head over to the other Target though, see what else they have at that one since the first one didn't have anything out either though. Yeah, so in there though, I ended up getting that unfamiliar one. And luckily enough, you know, it wasn't hard to get the key or anything like that to unlock it. It's always weird though, like, you know, how with the, with locking stuff up, how like they lock certain things up and then not other things. You can't, you can't really figure it out. I'm sure though soon, this location though, will switch over to locking everything up because I've kind of been noticing little by little, all the stores are starting to kind of lock up all the movies now except for a few of them and for the most part they're all starting to do it so since they did those front ones in this one they're probably in, at some point do the entire section though i'm thinking but now they're going to head over to uh, the other target into the second target we go yeah taking a look over here though i don't see anything new switched out here either it's all the same stuff 
from last week. So it's yeah, all the same stuff over here. They do have this this sale going on right now. It's um buy music and movies and books, buy two, get one free. So that's going on right now. So that's actually a very, very good price for those ones. But yeah, it's crazy. There's absolutely nothing new switched out here. All the same stuff from last week as far as I can tell though. Yeah, I don't see anything over here either. Yeah, nothing new on this side here either. Into Best Buy we go. And I do see one thing I totally forgot came out today was the uh, District 9 on 4K. And that one is uh, $22.99 for the standard 4K of that one. They also have an exclusive 4K, a Best Buy exclusive steelbook of that one. That's actually a really cool image on that one. And that one is uh, $27.99 for that one. And they actually have more of these um, Beetlejuice 4K steelbooks. I haven't actually seen these ones in a while. I think these ones kind of sold out quick, you know, earlier on when they first came out. Like, I don't, rem I don't think I remember seeing that one. So that's definitely a very cool 4K as well. But like I said, this was out a couple weeks back. But other than that, though, right here in the front, this is the only one, I think, see only thing new I see here. But I, I, that movie was really good, District 9. I watched it again uh, maybe like a year back or, year back, year or so back and thought that was actually still held up and was pretty cool. Uh, other than that, though, they do have the doorman here. It's out here on the, on the back. So it's the first place I've actually been able to, you know, pick it up in person. I don't see, though, the... Um, the Batman one, the new Batman film. I'll have to look and see the Batman animated, you know, choose your own adventure one. I'll have to see if they have that over there in the actual section, though. But these are, you know, this one, like I was saying, though, would definitely recommend you guys check this one out. I really, really like this one a lot, though. And it's $14.99 for the Blu-ray of that one. And over here, though, in the actual section, though, I do see a bunch of new stuff here. Like, they do have the Requiem for a Dream uh, director's cut here, and that is a $16.99 for that one. This one, though, you know, uh, is, a, is a great movie, but it's one of those movies, though, it's such a sad film. Film. Like I, I was talking about this like when I reviewed this last Tuesday. It's one of those movies that I don't think I've ever cried to so much in my life. But it is a, a great film. Like I said, I'm seeing a lot of interesting stuff in here. They're doing a bunch of like drilling or something going on up there somewhere. I have no idea what's going on. So sorry for the drilling noise. But like I said, this is one of those movies I never cried to so much in my life. It's a great movie though. But this is really cool seeing this in person in here. Uh, you know, the Friday the 13th collection here in person uh, so it's 129 dollars for this one and you know of course this one doesn't you know if you get this from scream factory and shout factory directly you get the poster uh, and that's the way i ended up getting and i got them with the poster for this one but it's a great release here but so cool to see this in person and one thing i'm seeing here that i'm probably going to have to get this I think, is it have a new, yeah, it has a brand new transfer on here. So I'm probably going to buy this, this Motel Hell Steelbook. This is like one of my top favorite movies of all time. Like, I love this movie. It's 22, is it 22 dollars for that one? Yeah, I think I'm going to end up getting this one. This is really, really cool to see it in here. It's so cool to be seeing so many, um, you know, lots of different, you know, Scream Factory releases in Best Buy now, which I think is really cool. Like I said, I'm definitely going to get this one for sure. And they do have the um, the Batman one here. This is the one I was talking, telling you guys about, the interactive movie, Batman Death and the Family. I'm going to have a review of this one at the end of this video. But this one is um, $17.99 for that one. And they also have... Um, Vikings Season 6 Volume 1 and that one is uh, $22.99 for that one. This is a show I never really watched this show uh, and I believe this was today as well from, was this a Shout Factory? No, this is a Funimation Steelbook of um, Paranoia Agent. I don't know anything about this show but that one is, is it $37.99 for that one? Yes. And they also have Broil here and they have the Blu-ray because everywhere else that I saw like Walmart only had the DVD of this one but I thought this one was surprisingly good. Like I actually really really like this one a lot. Like I said, really cool to see so many different things in here and see, and, and to see the Friday the 13th set in here in person as well is very cool. Yeah, so it was great to see, though, the amount of stuff they had in there. And so cool to see that Friday the 13th set in person. So if you guys are, you know, wanting to get that set, you know, I, I don't think they're going to have too many in store. They, I only saw the one. They, I don't know if they're going to have any more or not. But definitely was cool to see them having it in person. But I did end up getting that uh, Motel Hell Steelbook. And it is a brand new uh, 4K transfer. So it is a new scan on this one as opposed to the old release. I have the old Blu-ray that came out like... It's one of the early Scream Factory releases, but this is, like I said, one of my top favorite movies. So definitely wanted to get it. And also really love the steelbook of this one. And I don't get tons of steelbooks, but this is definitely a very, very cool one. But also, though, let me know in the comments below, though, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K 
Friday. If you guys ended up picking up anything today. Also, be sure to let me know as well what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. You know, if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them. Also, if you guys plan on picking any of them up. And also, too, be sure to check out the link below to find out about the... Um, upcoming anthology horror film season so you guys can find out more about that one and that link will be below for that one and also too let me know anything new that you guys have watched on streaming any new tv shows or any new movies that you guys have checked out that's on streaming i know soon in like a i think a little over like a week or two i believe borat 2 is going to go on amazon prime is going to premiere on there which i cannot wait to watch that i did watch off of um Netflix last night that Hubie Halloween the new Adam Sandler movie and I actually liked it a lot of people have been, it's like got some mixed reviews but I thought it was actually ridiculous I mean like totally ridiculous I, I like Adam Sandler's humor and he was kind of playing that character that he did on SNL called Canteen Boy uh, I, I almost think that that character was sort of supposed to be kind of that same character not exactly but similar to it and had like a similar kind of vibe to it but I really liked it and the writer behind it you know was wrote like um, Billy Madison and a lot of Adam Sandler's movies throughout the years uh, but I, I don't know I thought it was really fun I, I, I definitely would say it's worth checking out on Netflix like I said it's one of the Netflix original ones with him but like I said let me know anything new that you guys have been watching lately anyway though guys thanks again for watching and subscribing and like I say if you guys enjoy these videos definitely give this video a thumbs up now stay tuned for the brand new reviews and the first one I got here is from Arrow Video. Now, this is one when I heard that Arrow Video was releasing this one, I got so excited because I absolutely love this movie. Out of all the movies that Kevin Smith has done, this is probably the one that I've watched the most. Because if you guys know me as well, I always love movies set in malls. And this movie here is on uh, Mall Rats. But like I was saying, though, I always love films set in malls. You know, of course, like Dawn of the Dead. And then, you know, Chopping Mall, Phantom of the Mall. There's so many different ones in malls that I've always loved. Even like the episode of Afraid of the Dark that was set in a mall I like. I don't know anything mall related I don't know to me I always love that as a setting and this whole movie is in a mall like I would say probably about 90% of the film is in a mall and it's basically though about these two guys and both of them have you know had just recently broken up with their girlfriends and they're kind of like you know and they broke up kind of because of their own ways because they're kind of stubborn acting the way that they act and they kind of have like their own personality problems and everything just just kind of the way they act and they basically always go and hang out at the mall so they go to the mall to kind of hang out after this breakup and then they go and hang and meet up with Jay and Silent Bob who are there and it's kind of about all the characters in the mall like one guy Willem Ethan Suplay's character who can't see the sailboat and one of those like one of those images where you try and see something in it and he's always there like panicking not being able to see anything and basically though uh, the one guy T.S. finds out though uh, that you know his girlfriend though who he just broke up with is now going to be on this dating show that her father is putting together that's going to be filmed in the mall. So both of them kind of come up with the idea of trying to, like, crash this game show and try and, like, ruin it. And they're, they're trying to cause all these problems there and everything in the mall. It is, like I said, such a fun movie. Stan Lee has a cameo in the movie. But it like, is an absolute, if you guys have never seen this movie, it's an absolute must-watch. And the thing that's really cool, though, about this edition is, this is the limited edition version here, which includes the theatrical cut on disc one, and then disc two includes the extended cut which is 30 minutes longer but it also includes the tv cut of the film which is you know it was really cool that they included that because i remember back when that like first played on tv because you know this movie though is one of those things it was like you knew that if they had to if they put it on tv and had to edit it it would be like really really edited because of the language and everything so on it though I think it's kind of funny though is um, Jason Mewes didn't come in to do his dialogue when they had to dub over all the, the, the language and everything. So it's like this guy kind of trying to act like him. So it has, even has an intro with Kevin Smith talking about like the guy that was just like in the booth that did the voice because Jason Mewes like kept on not showing up and everything to do, record it. So it's like this weird kind of guy <laughs> dubbing him over. I don't know. It's kind of funny though. But I remember that just so well when that aired on TV and they don't play that version very much. The TV cut of the film that's dubbed over like that. So that was really cool that they included that on here as a feature but it also has on here though feature wise it has a commentary track on here archive or commentary track it has on here um, a brand new interview on here with Kevin Smith um, a brand new um, you know tribute on here to the producer by Kevin Smith an interview on here with Jason Mewes it's brand new a brand new interview on here with the cinematographer 
uh, brand new, um, you know, making of, um, you know, animated making of documentary on this one featuring the Minnesota crew that worked on the film. Has deleted scenes on here, outtakes and behind the scenes footage, uh, cast interviews, a Q&A with Kevin Smith film, filmed at the 10th anniversary on here. Has the Build Me Up Buttercup music video, still gallery theatrical trailer. And also though on the on disc too, which is part of the limited edition because this is the limited edition version of the film. It also has on here though, uh, raw dailies, which is like, you know, like the raw footage from the shoot. So there's like, I think it was like close to like over an hour and a half or so of raw dailies on here. So, and also has an Easter egg on here as well, but lots of features on here. I'll show you guys a look inside. This is the reversible artwork. This is what I was talking about, this like image. And I remember these really well when I was a kid. They don't, they don't really do these much anymore. Where it's like if you look into these things, you see like some kind of an image. But I always remember these are kind of like big when I was a kid. And I even remember like seeing them in the malls and like and like at school and all these different kind of places. And you don't really see anyone they, them talk about those things anymore. But here like, there's a booklet in here which has some stuff about the production, some stills and that kind of stuff in here. And then also though, like it has, which is cool, it has like the plans to try and like foil the security guard in the movie that Jan San Bob put together. So this is the actual like the blueprint plans from the movie. So this is a really cool thing that's included as well in here. Let me fold this out so you guys can see this. Let's see how you open this here. So here you see you see like um because they have all these kind of problems with the with the security guard in here. So these are like their plans of how like to take him out and everything. It's, it's like I said, it's a very very fun movie here. And like I said, it's a two disc set. So this first one has a theatrical cut, and then the um, second disc has the extended cut and the TV cut of the film in here. But if one like I was saying, if you guys have never seen this one, and if you guys have this movie and you want to, you know, have, you know, this is definitely a, a great upgrade here with some really great brand new features on this one, and really cool too to have have the, uh, the, the uh, TV cut is included on here as a feature as well. I always love when TV cuts are put on to movies as well. Uh, the next one here, this is from Arrow Video as well. This is a movie here called Cold Light of, of, of Day. And this movie is kind of like in the vein of like Henry Porter vs. Serial Killer. It's kind of like talking about this one guy and that like these terrible crimes that he committed and there's like these body parts that are kind of showing up in these drains and stuff like that. And it's done like in the style of Henry Porter vs. Serial Killer because this one was from 89. So it has that that kind of vibe because he even meets this one guy kind of like telling his story to and stuff and it's like it's basically about like them trying to track down this guy but it's an intense movie and this one is a limited edition to 2000 units version here this is the limited edition version it has a really cool slip cover on here I'll show you guys a second for this one but it also has on here though a brand new commentary track on here with the writer and director on this one it has a brand new uh, commentary on here with film historians on this one it has a brand new interview on here with one of the actors. It has a newly filmed interview on here with Steve Mon Monroe. A newly filmed tour sh of the shooting locations on this one. Uh, original promotional short film to raise financing for the film. Re-release trailer. Two short films on this one. Uh, as well as uh, it has a booklet in here. Like I said, it has a sl slip cover. You kind of like peek through here of the image. And then you see like, like the, the severed body parts and stuff in this one. And then here's a look though inside. It has like a booklet in here with has some stuff about the production and about the film and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, if you guys are a fan of stuff like Henry Porter of a Serial Killer, it's definitely in that kind of vibe and that kind of style a little bit, I would say, for sure. But a really, really interesting one here for sure. And the next one I got here is from Lion's Gate. And this is one that I really liked a lot. And this is the movie which stars Ruby Rose and Gene Reno, and it's called uh, The Doorman. And I really like this one a lot. It's basically though about, you know, Ruby Rose's character. And she was basically like part of like you know in special forces and everything and she kind of had like one of the missions that did not go too well and she's kind of like stepped away from this for a while and she ended up meeting her uncle and I believe it was her uncle and she the uncle was basically saying how he works for this you know luxury high-rise apartment building that is in the stages of being remodeled so it's a very older building and there's a lot of stuff they have to remodel in it and he's like well if you need a job you know you can come and work as a doorman there uh, just in this really you know he's saying how there's hardly anyone there right now since it's being remodeled modeled you know it's like a holiday weekend coming up so there's not really going to be anybody there uh, but you just kind of be there watching the building and just making sure that you know just helping people to their to their rooms and that kind of stuff and she's like okay I can do that and of course though when she gets there she finds out that her you know her you know her brother-in-law you know her sister's you know her sister who recently passed away her sister's husband is there with her with his kids and you know her niece and nephew and she's basically kind of reconnects with them because she has not seen them in years and they're the niece and nephew are like oh you should 
would say for Thanksgiving dinner and and everything. If, but of course, though, the same time, Gene Reno's character, he's basically though uh, planning on you know basically breaking into this building because he knows that there's really going to be no one there for the Thanksgiving holiday because he because there's basically an old man that lives in the building that used to work for him and he you know had basically said to have taken these these really valuable paintings and Gene Reno is like I really wants to find these things so he's basically like holding the guy hostage saying I know that the paintings are in here and this guy has recently suffered a stroke so he's not really able to tell him too much and of course though he's saying you know he's ape starts to talk and he's like oh well they're in the other building and then they're, they're, they're in the um, actually the other room, uh, one of the other rooms in the building. And of course, they're in the room where Ruby Rose's characters, you know, uh, brother-in-law, you know, and the kids are in. So it's like she basically, you know, has to protect them and protect what's going on. And it, it becomes kind of like a diehard kind of movie, and it has that kind of vibe of her trying to protect them with these like in, intense sequences of the people coming after her and everything. But really, like I said, I really like this one a lot. The director though did um, a bunch of different movies. I really liked he did like the midnight meat train and a whole bunch of different films but definitely one i would recommend you guys check out it has on here though a uh a feature out on the film like interviewing the cast and crew talking about the film and everything but definitely one i would recommend you guys check out the next one here is one that i really liked a lot this is directed by thomas j churchill this is called the amityville harvest and this one was really cool and it, and it had vibes of like um uh, kind of was like a mixture of like texas chainsaw massacre mixed with like all, all these kind of different ones mixed together, like vibes of like House of a Thousand Corpses mixed with like um, all these different things kind of combined. And but it's basically, though, about like this um, in the beginning of the movie, though, this one girl had kind of gone to this funeral and kind of vanished into this funeral parlor. And you don't really know what happened to her. She kind of totally vanished. And it's basically her group of her friends. Uh, the one is, you know, Sadie Katz character works for like a... Um, like a TV show where they kind of go and investigate like things about the Civil War and like things in the past and they kind of ghost kind of things and that kind of stuff and they, they basically plan on going to the building that's right next door to the funeral parlor to kind of go and um, try to interview the owner talking about the Civil War and things of the past and everything and like they get there and it's like this weird kind of strange guy the way he's acting he's kind of like really pale and really weird the way he's acting and he's like oh I could do the interview tomorrow at 7 p.m. I'm not much of a morning person. And they basically, oh, all right, all right. But they're there, though, to interview him. But at the same time, they're trying to, like, look into what had happened to the one person that had gone missing. And they're kind of there mainly for that. It's to kind of sneak into the funeral parlor next door to try and get information and figure out exactly what had happened, if they can figure anything out. And this guy, though, doesn't realize that that's what's going on there. But, of course, though, they get there, and then it's, like, not a good thing. They're in there, and little by little weird things start to happen to them and they start seeing weird things and they start noticing more and more how weird the owner of this house is the way that he's acting and everything but like I said I really like the one because it has combinations of like you know of course an Amityville film mixed with Texas Chainsaw Massacre there's even like a hallway in the movie that like reminds me so much of like the way it looks in the, the, the opening you know the, the front of the house in Texas Chainsaw Massacre it has like the same kind of look to it but I like I said I really really love this one uh, you know um, everyone did a really great job in here like I said it starts Sadie Katz is in here. Uh, Lean Dietz is in the film. Uh, Jan Birch is in the film, you know, who was in, of course, in People Under the Stairs. But one I would highly recommend you guys check out here. The next one here, this is from Lionsgate as well. This is a new movie that stars Scott Atkins and Mario Van Peebles, and it's called Seized. And this one is basically, though, about, you know, um, Scott Atkins' character, and, you know, he was, you know, in uh, had like this, uh, you know, career in the special forces and kind of left the whole thing and kind of, you know, basically is now living with his son and kind of has gotten out of this whole life. But, of course, what ends up happening, though, is Mario Van Peebles' character ends up kidnapping Scott Atkins' uh, son in the film and basically, you know, holds him at, at hostage and basically saying, you have to do these specific things for me. If you want to see your son alive again and you want to see him ever, ever, you ever, ever want to see him again, you have to do exactly what I say. And he's basically sending Scott Scott Atkins' character on this mission to take out his enemies. So all of Mario Van Peebles' enemies are not safe because Scott Atkins' character is going after them. And it's kind of one of those things where he just keeps on piling on more things. Oh, well. He's like, oh, so can I get my, see my son now? He's like, whoa, no. You you have to go after these people now. And then, of course, by him doing this, other people start coming after him. And then it also becomes one of those situations where it's like, it's almost like a never-ending thing. It's like, you know, and Marvin Peebles has all his own plans here, and he's just 
just basically using him to take out all of his bat, the people that he's had problems with continuously. But I thought this was a really, really well done, intense movie. Uh, Scott Atkins is always really, really good. He's been in tons of stuff lately, and lots, lots and lots of different action movies. He's always really good, and I thought he did a great job in this one here. Like I said, this one here is called Seized. The next one here is one I was really looking forward to watching. This is from Universal. It's a movie here called Save Yourself. And this is a really, really fun movie. It's basically though about this couple who are kind of like, um, have in, in their relationship, they're kind of like at a, a period where they're having like, they're, they're, I don't know, they're kind of like not talking as much. And they're always kind of on their phones, always kind of like, you know, worried about the things in the world and not really worried about as much as they should about their own relationship. So they come up with the idea that they're going to go and take a like a weekend, a week, like a, I think it was like a weekend or a, a couple of days trip you know, to go to a cabin uh, out in the middle of, like, um, nowhere to basically kind of disconnect. They're, like, they're, they even left their vo voice message on their phone saying, oh, well, for the next couple of days, we're not going to be on our phone at all. Uh, we are totally disconnecting. We are not going to be on the Internet. We're not going to be doing anything. And, you know, anytime that someone does that, it's always not the greatest idea because, like, in this movie, though, it ends up being kind of like an alien encounter that happens, these weird kind of poofball aliens that are kind of like critters a little bit, like these kind of, or like tribbles, like these big like poof ball things end up like appearing uh you know in the world and like of course they don't know exactly what's going on outside of the world because they're they've turned their phones off but little by little they start seeing this this creature alien thing around and they come to realize that there is an alien encounter and it's kind of them out there in the middle of nowhere trying to figure out exactly what to do and then work through their own problems in life why they have these like these, this creatures that are all going around and everything i thought this was a really really fun movie and it's like i, I have the idea too of like you know disconnecting from your phone and disconnecting from the internet and all that kind of stuff and then not knowing at all what's going on in the world that's the thing it's kind of weird if, if you do do something like that you never know what could be going on if you do disappear out in the middle of nowhere and stuff like that does happen to people not like an alien thing but if you disappear off the face of the earth you can kind of like and vanish away you can like kind of miss something big that's going on and like kind of be totally like out of the loop of what's going on in the world but really like this one a very very fun movie has on here deleted and extended scenes as well as a blooper reel as well as a commentary track on here with the writer and director on this one, uh, both the writers and directors on the film, but really fun movie here. The next one here is from Warner Brothers. They sent out a free copy of this one to let you guys know that this one is available. And this is a really interesting movie here. This is a, um, you know, an interactive movie here. And this is called uh, Batman Death in the Family. And like I said, this is an interactive movie. So it's kind of like a choose your own uh, adventure movie for the most part, which I always love those kind of movies. They haven't released anything like that in years. I remember back when like DVDs were new, they had one called like Who's Your Man that was like a choose your adventure one and you like and they had a couple of different ones they even had some video games back in the day where you would kind of choose the way things went uh, but I thought that was really cool that you know um, Warner Brothers ended up doing a new like choose your adventure one because this one you basically there's a couple of different points in the movie where you can kind of choose you know the way like Batman saves Robin like and it, and it's, it has a different w outcome each way of, of what he ends up doing uh, but so it's a cool thing though because it's basically though about the Joker coming after um, Robin and Batman has to go and save him and it's you know it's basically though what ends up happening and like I said you can choose these there's like I think there's three different options of what you can choose that happens and it has a huge outcome to you know different ways if you do save Robin you don't save him uh, but I, I like this a lot it also has in here though uh, a bunch of different additional shorts on here uh, on here so, uh, I think it was like 60 minutes of additional DC shorts and then it also has on here a commentary track on all five um, you know the shorts on this one as well but a really fun uh, interactive movie here like I said this one is called Batman uh, Death in the Family the interactive movie and the next one I got here is from Paramount, and this is the newest release from the Paramount Presents line. This is on uh, number 10 in the Paramount Presents line, and this is the film here, The Haunting, which I always really like this movie. Uh, this one stars Liam Neeson, uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Owen Wilson, and Lily Taylor. And uh, what's cool about the Paramount Presents line releases is, like I said, they all are numbered on the side. That says, like, the, the year the movie came out down here on the bottom. And it also opens up, so it has, like, the original poster artwork in here, the way this opens up like this. And then inside, the movie is in a clear case like this and also inside you know here's the look at the disc and it says like a quote from the movie's director in here like I said I really love the way these ones are laid out it also includes a digital copy of the film uh, as well if you guys have never seen this movie though it's basically though about people who are all going to this like mansion for like a sleep study kind of because they're all having problems with sleeping and those kind of things like that and you know uh, it's put on by Liam Neeson's character but he's actually there to kind of study them to kind of study how they react to ghosts and ghostly things he's 
basically they're there to try and scare them and that's essentially what the movie's about but it's one that I've always really liked that one a lot but a really really cool release here like I said from the Paramount Presents line and on here though it has a brand new filmmaker focus which has an interview on here uh, with the director in here it also has a behind the scenes featurette a theatrical teaser trailer as well as a theatrical trailer on this one the next one here which is from Paramount as well it's a movie here called The Vanished which stars you know Thomas Jane Anne Heche and Jason Patrick and this one is basically though about Thomas Jane and Anne Heche's character who go to like the lake on this trip and then in an RV and basically though all of a sudden uh, you know their daughter though has just gone missing like Jason uh, you know Thomas Jane character is talking to this girl outside and then like he, you know they say oh yeah we're gonna start going you know uh, going fishing or something like that and they can't find where the daughter is like she they, they don't really understand where she was she just totally up and vanished they're like looking they can't find her anywhere they don't remember seeing her leaving the RV because she was just there a couple minutes before so it's kind of this huge mystery and it becomes you know the cops come by and you know Jason Patrick's character is one of the one of the cops and they're kind of trying to get to the bottom of this whole thing about where did she go and it's basically Thomas Jane and Anne Heche's character staying there you know out on this campground and you know basically they don't want to leave and they want to you know figure out where the daughter is and it's kind of like there's a couple different people that were there like the one girl that um Thomas Jane's character was talking to they're talking to her they're basically anyone who was there they're trying to put together the pieces and you know figure out exactly what happened to their daughter but it's a really really interesting movie here I really like this one a lot this has on here too it has a digital copy of the film uh, as well the next one here this is from Wellgo USA it's a movie that's uh, you know directed by uh, Riza uh, and it's and it's uh, you know has a great cast in here it has like Wesley Snipes is in here uh, you know um, Ethan Hawke is in the movie and it's called uh, Cutthroat uh, City and it's basically though this takes place after Hurricane Katrina and it's basically though about a group of these guys who like after Hurricane Katrina though it's kind of like they're the everything in, in you know in New Orleans is you know terrible after that it happened and what people had gone through and it's kind of like um they're not able to the one guy isn't able to get like a loan on his house anymore even though you know his house was destroyed but he's not able to get like the insurance on it they're giving him all sorts of problems you know he doesn't have any you know hardly anyone there has any money because of what had happened and they basically come together and plan to work for this bad guy to kind of go and have this pull off this big robbery. And of course, like it doesn't go well. And it's kind of like about the police coming after them because of this. And it's becomes it's one of those things where things just kind of get worse and worse and worse as it goes along. Uh, and it has on here though uh, behind the scenes on here as deleted scenes as well as trailers on this one. But a really interesting like intense movie just about like where things kind of go worse and worse. But really like this a lot here as well. The next one here I have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price. But this one is from uh, Movie Zing. And this is also from uh, Dark Side Releasing. It's a movie here called Things Fall Apart. And this is one that's kind of hard to explain. It's basically, though, about a group of people who are kind of coming together for a dinner party. And it's kind of like, you know... A character piece, though, about like them all together, kind of talking, and they're kind of talking about like their disagreements about certain things and their views on th certain things, and it's one of those things where it kind of it's a slow build up to weirder and weirder things you start to find out about these people, and you even find there's even like at one point like a, like this like you know, like a space in the sink and this blood and everything and you're kind of like well, what is going on here like I said that, that and that's not spoiling anything that's kind of like this where, where it's like a weird point in the movie but it's one of those things where it, it just like continuously gets weirder and weirder as it goes along you keep on finding out more and more about these people what exactly they're doing there how they know each other and that, that's essentially all is what it is is it kind of just co goes on and on and it gets it gets stranger and stranger as it goes along with this this dinner party and these people that are there and you're kind of figuring out exactly what their what their point of you know being there is and what exactly is going on but it's a really interesting movie here like I said it's called uh, Things Fall Apart the next one here, this is from Gravitas Ventures, and this is a documentary that I was really interested in getting to check out. This is a Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy, the, the Ren and Stimpy story. Now, I've always loved Ren and Stimpy. I remember watching it right when it premiered when I was a little kid, and how much I loved it, and how, like, I always think, too, about, like, my one, one, one of my favorite ones in there was, like, when Ren was, like, eating that soap. I remember as a kid, like, I was, like, it always kind of creeped me out, like, he was eating this soap, and he thought it was an ice cream bar. Like, I was one of those things, I always remember that, and then, like, the Sven Hoek episode. Like the one when it's like Ren's uh, cousin, you know, no, Stimpy's cousin that comes over. And he's just like Stimpy. Those are the ones I always remember really well. But I remember too, like, you know, when you would watch the show, they would always like, certain things would get like removed from the show because they were kind of like too shocking and too weird, the stuff that sneaked by. But this is a documentary though, talking all about Ren and Stimpy and kind of about how it came.
came to be and how like John Kay, who was the creator, kind of brought it to, uh, he brought a different show to Nickelodeon and then they, they he had the characters of Ren and Stimpy in it and they really liked those characters and then they adapted it into a show. But it talks all about though, the ups and downs though of John Kay's life, who's, you know, John, you know, who's the creator and about some controversies and some bad things that he had done in his life. Uh, and it kind of talks about that as well. But it mainly talks, talk, you know, talks all about, though, the show, the creation of the show, uh, the controversies to it, and kind of about how it was all put together, and then John Kay leaving the show, and all this kind of stuff. But a really, really well-done documentary. A lot of great, you know, uh, archival footage, and a lot of great footage of the original studios where they were making the show. Uh, and lots of great stuff on here. Lots of, you know, talking to some, you know, fans of the show uh, has on here though a bunch of different features it has like animation historian Jerry Breck un uncovers rarely seen Rem Rem and Stimpy Gold uh, has on here Billy Ray shares his insights on John Kay it has on here Meet the Real Anthony sound design exposes the, the sound mystery behind Ren Stimpy tour of the studio so it has original studio tour on here but lots of different stuff on here but a really really great documentary here I would definitely if you guys are a fan of Ren and Stimpy 100% would recommend you guys check this one out here and the next one I got here is from Mill Creek, and it's a movie here called Evil Takes Root, The Curse of Bat, Batty Bat. I believe that's how you say that one. It's Bat, Batty Bat. I think that's how you say this one. This was a really interesting movie. It's basically about this guy who has gone to, you know, uh, investigate in a small town. He's like a paranormal investigator kind of guy, and he's going to investigate this miss. His girl, his like ex girlfriend, had gone missing in this town, and it's kind of like the movie has vibes of like. It's like a kind of like a creature, kind of like a Mothman prophecies kind of creature, mixed with like a weird, like you know, kind of like a, a tree spirit kind of creature. It's very creepy, and basically though, he goes there to kind of investigate what had happened to her, and it's kind of like he starts looking into everything, and little by little, he starts to discover more and more weird things that are going on, and kind of the weird things that are going on in the town with this kind of creature, and kind of like the history of it, and that there's been a lot of these other kind of weird disappearances and things going on, and it's kind of him like looking into the whole thing, and then kind of, you know, having worse things happen to him by looking into this. It's one of those things, when you look into things like this, then you end up having bad things happen to you and that's kind of what's going on but this is actually a very creepy movie and it has on here feature wise it has deleted scenes commentary track on here a visual effects reel as well as an isolated score score on this release it also has a digital hd copy of the film through a movie spree which is you know um mill creek streaming service the other one here and this is a, a i always remember this one and you don't hear about this one too often it's a horror version of snow white which stars sigourney weaver and sam neill and i remember this one seeing this one like as a kid and how much this one really creeped me out but like i said it's a basically a horror version uh you know an r-rated horror version of snow white which i always love the snow white story and that's basically what this is but i've always really liked this one so really glad this one is now available on blu-ray and the last one here from mill creek as well is the John Travolta film Battlefield Earth. And I know this movie is one of those films that is kind of like always like put on lists of like some of the worst movies and all that kind of stuff. And it, it is a really strange film. It's kind of like a little bit like um, Planet of the Apes kind of. Uh, it has that sort of feel to it. And it's kind of like a, like a sort of a post-apocalyptic film when these kind of alien creatures have basically taken over the planet. And like, you know, the humans that are alive are kind of like taken as like prisoners and captive and like made to do things for them and all that kind of stuff and put to work and everything. And it's basically, though, just like John Travolta's character is one of these aliens. And then and all the alien characters have like kind of like these long dreads and everything. It's like they, they have like these really weird looks and everything. That's It's a very, very memorable movie. Movie. But what's cool about this release here, though, is it has tons of uh, special features and uh, brand new features. It has a new interview in here with the director, has a brand new interview in here with the screenwriter, has a brand new interview in here with the composer, an interview, a brand new interview in here with the model maker on this one, a brand new um, scene select commentary track on here with production designer Patrick Tertopoulos, you know, who was on Face Off. So a really, really great uh, release here. And it also includes a digital copy of the film as well through Movie Spree. But really cool as well to have this one on Blu ray. And I, I, like I said, I always kind of liked this movie. And I remember this really well when this one first released, you know, and kind of like everyone was kind of talking about it and everything when this one first came out. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.